Okay, guys, welcome back to uh, the Land's Co. Vlog, so season three, first episode. Uh, kind of cool that we're on season three. Uh, for those of you that have watched, thanks for watching. Uh, this episode, we went on, we, we recorded it last week, which was the last week of uh, goose season here in Illinois. So I thought I'd take you with us on a, a hunt. It's actually one of our listings, 585 acres in western Fulton County. And it's also a property that we help design and manage. So I thought that would be kind of a cool element as well. Turns out, you know, I was hoping to get some cool drone footage of how we designed it, but it was like, when I tell you it was freezing cold, it was like blowing sideways, sleet, snow. So didn't get a lot of that footage. Maybe I'll do that in another vlog later in the year. Um, but the hunt was awesome. So I thought I'd take you guys um, kind of along and show you how that went. We literally left Peoria. Um, it was about 40 degrees. Drove out to uh, it's just let's see east of Macomb, and I am telling you, by the time we got to Macomb, it was probably 30 degrees colder. It was crazy. So it started to snow. It started to sleet. We got to the pit about 10. Um, we were hoping to catch kind of the afternoon flight, and we were just too late. The bad weather. Uh, the birds were moving earlier, and. The way that we designed it, it ended up working perfectly. So if you've ever seen this property, there's a 95, 96 acre lake in the middle. And so what we did uh, in this waterfowl design is he already had aerators in that lake for fishing. So in the winter, we moved those all in the middle. So it kept a bigger hole open. And, and then we designed kind of sporadic locations around the exterior of the farm, where we designed wetlands. And the idea, the concept was keep those birds comfortable in the main lake, let them get up and find food, um, but they're far enough away that when you shoot them, it's not going to spook the main rest area. So that's what I was hoping to, to show some cool drone footage of. Didn't work. No big deal. Uh, we'll go do that later. So it worked awesome. Like there was a bunch on the main lake, but the, we were late. Like literally they were getting up, going to the food source as we were pulling up. Like you hear people talk about, oh man, we should have been there 30 minutes ago. Like that literally was the case here. So we pull in and there are birds just piling in and landing literally on top of the pit that we were planning on hunting. So there's nothing you can do, man. We just sat there and kind of watched the show. I got some cool footage. Um, birds were piling in by the hundreds. The birds are already where we want to set up at. So what we're about to do is just run them. We're just going to walk out there, run them out. It's not the most natural way to do it, but if you walk them out, let them go back to their, their roosting pond, they should start trickling back in. So. That's what Mick and I are about to go do right now, so it's going to erupt. Jason came in, kicked him out. Uh, we quickly set up. Um, and again, we didn't have, this is kind of a mobile setup, so we had a couple dozen uh, full bodies. I don't even know if it was that much. Maybe a couple dozen shells, I think six floaters, and put them all out surrounding a uh, an open hole we have with an aerator right in front of the pit. It's a really awesome setup. Cut corn behind us. Uh, I, I can't wait to show you guys this design, which will be later, because it's he's got a pump. I mean, these things fill from, from the well. There's power there. It's an awesome setup. But um, got the decoys out and literally hopped in the pit, and there were birds flying like as soon as we got in the pit. Usually when I, I film waterfowl hunts, I like to get out of the blind uh, and kind of get the birds working and, and get kills that way. But it was, again, freezing cold, like sideways ice and snow. So. I hop in the pit, so the footage isn't like the best, but you'll see what I mean when I say like it was literally one of the best ones that I've been on. So, got in the pit, Jason started calling, and it actually worked like incredibly well. The birds were coming back like twos and fours early. Um, it did get a little chaotic there towards the end with just, you know, groups of 20, 30, 40, 50 birds piled in, uh, but just an incredible hunt. Jason kept calling them in. They wanted where we were at. And uh, yeah, shot a shot a five man limit, ten birds. We got one band.
we got one band, uh, which is from Canton, which was kind of cool. I know most people want you know bands from all over the world, but when we designed the property, we were hoping that we could steal some birds from that Canton area and hold them on that lake. So to shoot a band from Canton um, on this particular project was kind of cool because it showed that we could do that. But uh, overall, just an incredible hunt. Got our five-man limit, got out of there quickly, and um, yeah, shot that one band. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and the footage. And if you want to check out this property, uh, 585 acres, it literally has everything. It's got that 95, 96 acre lake, a lodge, um, you know, 400 and something acres of, or so of timber. So the, the deer hunting is incredible. And now we've added this element of waterfowl hunting. So it literally has everything that you could ask for. So if you're in the market for a bigger property, go check that out. I'll put that in the link below. And uh, that'll do it for this one. The first um, episode of Season 3 Manticore Vlogs in the books. I hope you guys liked it. We'll be back at you soon with another. Thanks for watching.